Well, on last year's analytics show, Mike Kelly gave us some bold predictions for the 2019-20 season. And I'm no expert, but I'm just going to say Mike Kelly's a pretty smart guy when you look at the results here. William Nylander would score more even strength points than Mitch Marner. Now, technically, it's a push. They both have the same number of even strength points. But more Nylander goals, did have more, more even strength points. Tiebreaker. Okay, we'll give it to Mike. Uh, he also thought a Hughes brother would win the Calder Trophy. And he said Quinn, not Jack. Now, Quinn was very close to winning. He came in second to Kale McCarr, but he certainly had a better season overall than uh, his brother Jack. And finally, Mike thought that Georgiev would push Henrik Lundqvist out of the net and take a look at that. Georgiev had more starts indeed than Henrik Lundqvist. He did get a little help from Shesterkin. One guy in named Prince push. Igor. <laughs> yes, who could have known yeah. back then? But, you know, that's pretty good. We and always give good. bold predictions. We like that. Very and uh, it's even better when they pan out. So, you know what we're going to do now, Mike? We're going to put you on the spot again to make bold predictions going forward into this season, which already has uh, so much uncertainty surrounding yeah. it. Yeah, well, what that shows me is that just my predictions weren't bold enough. <laughs> so we got to get a little bolder here. Um, but we'll start here. You know, there's been a lot of talk about a potential all-Canadian division if, uh, if and when the NHL season comes back and plays in uh, a revised format of some sort. If there is an all-Canadian division, I'm picking the Montreal Canadiens to win that division. Wow. Um, I think that's a little bit bold. We saw some polls recently. Not a lot of people would have picked Montreal, but I look at the forward group they have now. You add to Foley, you add Anderson. The top line in Montreal, not enough people talk about it. They're one of the best top lines in the NHL. Uh, a statistical model I use to evaluate forward groups per team, I've got Montreal with the fifth best forward group in the NHL. So I like that forward group, the additions they've made there and the depth that they now have. Also the progression of Kokaniemi and Suzuki down the middle. You look at the defense, they bring in Edmondson to solidify that top four. Uh, I like him as a defenseman. Alexander Romanov, this guy may be a real impact top four defenseman as early as this year. We don't know yet, but there's a lot of promise. You got Weber, Petrie, Sherratt, Kulak. I like that defense a lot. And then you get Carey Price and goal. Um, and I think Carey Price now with Jake Allen as the backup, he doesn't have to play as much. Again, shortened season. We saw how good Carey Price was in the playoffs. You put it all together. I'm starting to like a lot of what I see with the Montreal Canadiens. Hey, not a bad pick. And, you know, I liked their team last year going into the season. But the one thing I thought... Very thin. If they get any injuries, it's a problem. Well, they filled mm -hmm. out a lot of depth mm -hmm. in the offseason, and also those young players had that opportunity in the return to play yeah. to really get some more experience. So uh, I'm with you, Mike. There, I don't know if I'd take them over Vancouver, but I think that's a good pick. Yeah, you can't put a value on that kind of playoff experience that Montreal no. really wasn't expecting exactly. to get. They were Team 24 in uh, the 24 team return to play format, and they surprised a lot of people, myself included, by yeah. knocking out the Penguins in that first qualifying round. More bold predictions. Let's talk Rocket Richard. It's basically the Alex Ovechkin trophy at this point, but do you think he'll win it again? Now, I'm going to go against Ovi. I'm going against Matthews, Pasternak, all these top guys that you're probably thinking of, and I'm saying Kyle Connor with the Winnipeg Jets. Wow. This one, I think, is kind of bold, uh, so we'll see how it plays out. But look, there's a lot to like about Kyle Connor. Every year he's been in the league, he's scored more goals and more goals and more goals than the year before. He plays with elite players uh, and, and distributors of the puck in Blake Wheeler, Mark Shifley, the Jets' top six, the Jets' power play. There's so much talent there. And when you go back to last season, you look at the analytics. Kyle Connor, he had 38 goals. He was sixth overall, so he's in the mix. Expected goals based on the shot quality, so not just the location where we see from the slot. He was tied with Matthews for the most shots, but the type of shots as well. 42 expected goals, number one in the NHL. So for me, that's where it's not even that big of a reach. Now, of course, you look at the field. There's so many gifted goal scorers. Probably not a lot of people taking Kyle Connor. So I'm going to do it. That's my bold prediction. That is a bold <laughs> prediction. And I like it because Kyle Connor is someone that I've always enjoyed his game. And I feel like he's a little bit underappreciated. Even when he was in college, I thought he was a little bit underappreciated. And he's been a really good goal scorer for the Winnipeg Jets. So that's a bold pick. And for Kyle, are you with me? I hope you're right. I hope you're right. I don't know. If, <laughs> I don't know if I'm necessarily with you, but he's going to be in the mix right. <laughs> because he is a talented goal scorer. But that is a bold pick. And let's face it, Mike. Not a lot of people have made a lot of money betting against Ovi over the years. So good luck. Yeah. Good point. Good Real point. Real quick, how about playoffs? What's your bold playoff prediction as we sit here in December without a season? Well, look, I like the Rangers. To me, they're like the next Colorado Avalanche. I love the young talent that's coming out of this organization. I think they make the playoffs. I think they win a playoff round this year. I think they win a Stanley Cup 
before 2025. But you look at all the young talent on this team, uh, not to mention, obviously, the, the Zibanejads and Panarin and Kreider, the guys that are already established. But the pipeline is so strong. Adam Fox, to me, he would have been a top three Calder. Uh, he would have been third if I was doing a list. Um, just a lot of good young pieces there. I think Rangers fans should be incredibly excited about this team. And like we said, Prince Igor, the guy that we didn't really talk about at all last That's year. That's right. Because we had no idea that he would be the stud that he is.